The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do as the host to a diapered guest is to be conscientious of the need for a private place to change their diaper. When you're conscientious of this need and you show that by providing them with the space necessary to do what they need to do, it says that needing to change your diaper is not something that you need to be ashamed of, nor is it something that you need to be concerned about putting off or feeling awkward about. It conveys that not only do you understand these needs, but you also encourage and support it. If not for the comfort of your diapered guests, then at least for the comfort of yourself and others that might be staying in the household as well. How exactly you go about providing a proper place for them to change in really depends on the person, their particular issues, their mobility, and the diapering position that they may prefer to change in. For someone like me, any private space will really make do, whether it's a guest bedroom, a bathroom, or even a broom closet. Okay, I'm joking on that last one. Personally, my changing position preference of choice is the laying down position, just because it allows me to add powder a lot easier, which I do prefer to use in nearly every diaper change. If this is a subject that you and your guests talk about, openly, maybe even ask them what they would prefer and then seek to make those accommodations. Really, the best case scenario is if you have a private guest bedroom that they could stay in that would offer them the space necessary to change when they needed and somewhere to store their supplies privately. If for whatever reason a guest bedroom isn't available, perhaps you can let them know that your bedroom or bed is available as needed or maybe set them up with a private area on a couch or somewhere else where they can have the privacy that they need to get their business taken care of. If your diaper guest prefers to change standing up or the only area you have for privacy will require require a standing up diaper change, try to make sure there's an open wall with some space to lean against. Another thing you can do to make your diaper guests feel welcome is to provide some diaper disposal options in the area that they'll be changing in. This can either mean setting some sort of a trash can nearby so that way they don't have to walk out of the house or out of the room to dispose of the dirty diaper, or it can mean providing some discreet diaper disposal sacks like maybe some grocery bags that you can't see through that'll help them of dispose of the dirty diaper without it causing too much attention. On top of that, this won't just be good for helping reduce their Concerns, but it also will help contain any smells, which also will help reduce concerns over anyone noticing. Furthermore, that'll just be for the best for everyone's comfort who might be staying in the household. Because let's be honest, even a wet diaper can start to stink up the joint after a while, especially if there's more than one of them. And doing things like spraying air fresheners right after someone needs to change their diaper can make them feel really self-conscious and like they're imposing in some type of way. Another way to go about it is by setting up candles or perhaps air fresheners that have some sort of time release. So that way, it's just a standard of the household to have nice smells floating throughout. Personally, I think this is a far better way to go about it so that way your diaper guest doesn't feel self-conscious about their issues and their needs. By going this far and leaving out these various supplies, you subtly acknowledge that you understand and support these needs without ever having to discuss it, especially if it's not something that you regularly or openly discuss. If this is a subject that's discussed freely between you and your diaper guest, then maybe even let them know about the different supplies and different measures you've taken to help make sure that their stay with you is more comfortable. Perhaps casually let them know where the outside trash bin is so that way they can be encouraged to take their dirty diapers outside where they won't bother anybody. And if you really want to take it the extra mile and make them feel super welcome, leave out some extra diapers, wipes, and even some diaper powder for them. Speaking of powder, if you're looking to help a loved one stay fresh and rash free, Dynamo's diaper powder is the way to go. This is a diaper powder that I formulated especially for adults that need to wear diapers. It helps to prevent and treat diaper rash, is unscented so they won't feel self-conscious about it, and will leave their skin smooth as silk and soft as butter. If you'd like to get Dynamo's diaper powder for your guests to give a try or maybe even for yourself, just enter in DDA20 at checkout for 20% off. Now available at thediaperdownable.com. I'll put a link in the description below. Now, not everyone that's staying in the household needs to know about the diapers and not everyone who needs to wear diapers likes to talk about it. In fact, I would wager that most people want to avoid having the discussion altogether. Some people just need the space necessary to do what it is that they need to do. Occasionally, it helps to have help with creating some sort of distraction or excuse to break away for a change. In these situations, your job is to be a good battle buddy. When you notice your diapered friend in discomfort and suspect that a diaper change is the cause, you can help them out by creating an excuse for them to break away by asking them to go get that thing that you guys were talking about earlier. Being a supportive host to a diapered guest, friend, or family member is all about creating the space necessary to break away for that diaper change when needed. In the case of those of us that only need to wear diapers to bed, it's really about creating a situation to minimize the awkwardness involved. It can be quite awkward when you need to wear diapers to bed and you suddenly find yourself in a situation where you're sharing a room with someone else who doesn't know about these needs. Sometimes in family situations or in holiday situations, you end up piling up a bunch of people in one single room. This can make being the one that needs to wear diapers to bed a lot more embarrassing. When you have a friend or family member who's in the know and has your back, this can make getting through these tougher situations a lot more bearable. There are plenty of situations we as diaper wearers can find ourselves in where the top thing that's on our mind is how we're gonna change our diaper or diaper up discreetly as needed. Then there are situations we will avoid being 
staying in at all costs because of how potentially exposing they might be, like going to stay with friends and family over the holidays, or simply going out to do fun things like rock climbing. Going out to do things like these requires us to push ourselves outside of our comfort zone and past the fears that we might have over the potentially exposing situations that these might put us in. For more on facing our fears and how reality oftentimes doesn't meet our expectations, check out this video next where I try rock climbing in a diaper. Until next time, stay dry.